<laughs> I mean, we're 19 games into the season. First of all, do you even know where you are right now and what city? Do you wake up not knowing any idea? Because I do. There was a little bit of time there. You know, we had the Thursday, Sunday, <laughs> Thursday, Sunday. And so I definitely went to the wrong floor on the hotel room a bunch of times. You know, I'm on 11. What's going on? My You're feet not didn't work. In, I literally right? went to it one time. I was like, I'm on the wrong floor. Uh, you just have to get used to the life of getting in the hotel like this a couple times. How about learning the teams? It's not like you had a chance to watch so many of these teams. And now, now here you are, you know, in these production meetings, really needing to learn them pretty quickly. I could recall back, we're sitting with Sean Payton, do you remember? And the New Orleans game is early on, and he looks at you and he goes, dude, you got to go home and study. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had, uh, we had on my board, we had a center, and I asked him Max about Unger. it. Max Unger. And it was the opposite, <laughs> you know, and I hadn't watched a center s snap for New Orleans in 15 years, you know. So I just asked him about a guy, and it was the backup center. He's like... What are you doing? That's not even our center. He's like, I know. I wanted to ask you about your backup center. <laughs> you're not going to know everything about each team. I really feel like uh, when you know football, I mean, it's not that hard. Like, the funny thing is these coaches, they don't always know what you know. And it's the same with me. I'm trying to learn what they know and know it. And, you know, I'm kind of a junkie with it. And so I just like... Uh, kind of. When they can as well. Kind of a junkie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I definitely uh, study football and watched it and know it decently. So. Do you miss it? Playing? Yeah. Um, I think you always want to, you know, be playing the game, but at the same time, you are just fine not playing the game. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I just feel like it feels good to be doing something else that I'm passionate about, that I'm excited about. I'm still in the game of football, and, you know, there's another level to be good at this that I'm still trying to obtain, and I think that... Uh, Ultimately, I like competition probably more than any specific thing, more than like football. or It's just competition and football provided that avenue for me. And I think that, you know, in some ways the same thing here. It's like I want to be able to compete and be good at this and then hopefully allow the viewer to enjoy moments and teach them along the way. And, um, you know, that part of it makes it easy not to miss the game. How about when you went back to Dallas? Did the memories just start flooding the tribute they put to you, yeah. you know, right before the game. I'm sure that was difficult. Yeah, I mean, it was emotional, but in a really uh, special way. You know, I feel like I have a lot of friends and people that meant a lot emotionally to me when I was there. And I mean, we were the quarterback for a team that long. It's not just the players. I mean, you become friends with the people in the front office, ownership, you know, the people who are behind the scenes working, the, the person who opens the door, you know, at the facility. Something that you don't get to experience every day in life to be in that position where just people care about you and want to see you succeed. And going back, it made me feel honored and humbled. Is Candace, your wife, critical or does she, you know, is it always positive? Does she watch your games? Does she watch your tape? Yes, yeah, she, she watches the games. I just tell her halftime, like, what was your favorite line? And usually it's about within the first five minutes of the game because I'm like, didn't hear the third quarter at all. Did you? <laughs> you know, it's like. She was putting the kids Well, because she's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's used to me playing you know so for her it's not as emotionally draining you know when I was playing out there in the field it is a every Sunday was a just a emotional roller coaster they're worried about your physical health coming out of the game and then on top of it then it's like okay if you throw three interceptions it's a horrible week just like to the world you know, so every time she goes somewhere people are like hey how you doing you know so it's like she feels it everywhere and so that part this is like Yawn. How'd the game go, hon? You did all right? What about the kids? Do they watch Daddy on TV in a different light now, not being quarterback? I think the five-year-old grasped it now a little bit. The three-year-old, yeah. Still doesn't know. No. Yeah. And then the other one's four months, so he doesn't know anything. You know, they grow up really quickly when you're on the road all the time. It's That's the toughest thing I find. Yeah is, you know, saying goodbye every every time you have to, you know, get on the road. Yeah, and that's why you work so hard to get home and you come in. You, if you're lucky enough to drive them to school or do something on Friday morning, you always do that. And I think that's incredible because I think, I think kids remember that stuff. Do you read the clippings? Do you go through Twitter? I know you're big on Instagram. Yeah. Do, you, do you focus on all that? When you play quarterback, it's like you're going to get hit with everything. When you're playing great, you're the greatest thing ever. When you're playing bad, you're the worst thing ever and you stink. And so I've always said... The whole key is never to allow that to affect your preparation or play either way. 
professionals just go out and do what they're supposed to do and improve and continue to get better, regardless of circumstance of what's going on around you. And, you know, amateurs go through these big old swings. Some people are going to like you. Some people aren't. You're not going to please everybody. It's just the world we live in and just human beings. So are you looking forward to not being a rookie anymore? I mean, it all came about so fast this year, like how it just boom, 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 and here I am doing this. It's like the old coach speak. I'm just trying to get through this week. Having fun? Oh, yeah, it's been a blast. Been awesome. Because of you. Come on. Love having nice you. Nice job.